and they still call it King James. That's an anomaly. You see, in the time of King James, 1611, this Bible was brought together. Then they found the something not altogether right, so they made a major change. Major. You understand English? Major, minor. Minor is small, major is big. It's not fiddly little things. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP. And also you wanna thank everybody who's been uh able to give us reaction videos you're also the real estate mvp thank you so much you guys managed to get us to 8300 subscribers as of present you're the realest mvp so right about now we're going to do another reaction and this one right there was suggested by a lot of people so uh, a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to did that at his best part six i think there are a lot of parts there's part one two three should have been a long um long one yeah, he, he, yeah, probably it it's, could have, it it's could one have video cut maybe cut into yeah, yeah. short clips. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're gonna react to this one. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. From the book of Judges, the book in the Bible. <laughs> After him, <laughs> Judges chapter three verse thirty-one. <coughs> After him was Shamgar, the son of Anat, who killed 600 men of the Philistine. One man. He killed 600 of the Palestinians. One man. With an ox gold. Ox gold. And he also delivered Israel. Now, this gold, gold. I don't know how many of you know what is a gold. You see, the first time I read about this, as a young man, I read it in the book of Acts, Acts, A-C-T-S, Acts, chapter 9, verses 4 and 5, where it says that Paul, while he was on his way to Damascus, he saw a vision of Jesus. Jesus appears to him and says, Saul, Saul, why persecutors are me? Why are you? Harassing me. What are you persecuting me for? Why kickest thyself against the pricks? And I was shocked. So what kind of a book is this? Using such filthy, dirty language. So I went out on my search as a youngster asking the priest, what is this? And the priests were helpless. They were helpless. They kind of explained to me, what is Jesus talking about kicking against the... I won't repeat it. Now, in the Bible that Brother Sharosh, he presented to me at the Royal Albert Hall, this beautiful Bible here, this is the fifth major revision. This Bible is the fifth major revision. Brother Sharosh not just said it's true. Fifth major revision. I didn't know. You see, I thought the King James Version, or in England they call it the Authorized Version, was the one of 1611. That it has been already through five major revisions. And they still call it King James. That's an anomaly. You see, in the time of King James, 1611, this Bible was brought together. Then they found the something not altogether right. So they made a major change. Major. You understand English? Major, minor. Minor is small, major is big. It's not fiddly little things. Major. You see, this is like your great, great, great grandfather. He made his last will and testament. And your great, great grandfather, he made a major change in that will. And your great-grandfather made another major change in that will. And your grandfather made another major change in that will. And your father made another major change in that will. And you made another major change in that will. And you're still insisting that this is the original last will and testament of your great, great, great grandfather.
amazing use of language. Imagine the language that they're using. Five major changes, revisions, and they still say it is a King James Version. So in this major revision, they change the word, the word, are, that offensive word, to code, code. Go and ask the Americans, what is a code? When you go out, when you meet the English man, ask him, what is a code? And believe me, he won't be able to explain to you, what is a code? So, I... Yes! I show you this, 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 this. Thank you, thank you, my, thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. You see, to make it easy for my brothers and sisters who never heard the word original word, they never heard the word gold. That this guy Shanga, he used an ox gold. So I brought it for you. <laughs> you see, this another word for this is a cattle prodder. They brought cattle to me. Ox goat, cattle prodder, spiked stick. There's a little name here, spiked stick for prodding. You know, with this stick, this Jewish lad, Shamgar, he killed 600 Palestinians with this. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't destroy 600 snowmen with this. You know that? This thing will break 600, 600. It's a miracle, yes. This is a miracle, it's a miracle. We must accept that you see, this is now, is programming people. If one Jewish boy can six, kill 600 Palestinians, what were the Palestinians doing? Look, I said the fools, they couldn't run. They couldn't run for their life. What were they waiting? Where? And where did the fellow strike them with this to kill 600? One, two, three, four. We have. Wow, what do you think? We came in the beginning of this video, we came to the conclusion that it's just one um, long video that's been cut down into clips, yeah? Yep. So I'm thinking to myself, what was this all about? What was the video all about? Hmm. Is it just to talk about what's wrong? Like maybe certain things people find wrong in the Bible? Yeah, like there's so much probably uh, exaggeration. Uh -huh. to an of, it doesn't really add up. I just the way really trying to explain it. Yes, I understand that. So it's not hard enough. But then I like the when he's teaching other things mm -hmm. that I can learn from. But then when you sit here and look at this, yes, he's trying to educate us on one or two things that the Bible exaggerates. Mm -hmm. But why focus on these things? Maybe uh, because towards the beginning I was talking about the major change. We get it. It's still um, about the change from yeah. part one to this is part what six? Yeah. Five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, by now we should understand that the Bible has been altered many times. Even though we don't want to accept the, that's the fact, it has been altered many times. And we, we don't know what books were there before that they removed. You get it? Maybe those books were, were probably telling us about um, things that would make us even stay more righteous and whatnot. You get it? I understand yeah. that part, but so why now, talk about these changes so much? I think it's, it's like it's uh, like you know. Okay, this is how I'm, I'm feeling. Most of the people probably know about these changes, but since they're like, ah, it's just changes. Let me just go with what the Bible says and whatnot. But by him talking about the changes every time, he's trying to also program the people to understand that your book has been changed many times. You understand? Just like the way he's saying, like the Bible is trying to program people by saying, uh, this, Jewish, uh, this Jewish guy killed uh, these people with, with, the, with the God or whatever thing. Why focus on the wrong? 
in focusing on the bad part of this thing that you believe in. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's creating further division? Yeah, I think it's this portion of exactly because you don't know where it started from. No, that's what we know where no, but from part one, that's why I said from part one mm -hmm. to part six, we've been hearing about these changes. But um it's like but, but it's a sad truth anyway. It is. Yeah, it is a sad it, truth. But someone out there is also that's why I said I think in the other videos I've said this before. Someone out there is also saying, but look at part of this Quran. Mm -hmm. But then should we spread message spread, like that? Yeah. I think it shouldn't be uh spreading message like that. We should try because and focus on the positive of side. Other religions attending this will look at it as dislike mm -hmm. for this particular religion mm -hmm. it's like you're trying so hard to tarnish one religion to put yours up yeah, yeah, yeah. but i agree with the part where he says people are being conditioned yeah nowadays it's about being conditioned what we eat how we look like so how much. we think There's we can't even so think for ourselves because the world can't. wants us to think in a certain way we can't what are your thoughts anyway? My thoughts are Towards the beginning I agree with him Like the Bible has been changed Many times That one I cannot deny I can't That one is is, is, is I mean it's, it's the truth You get it And uh, It's very sad At this particular moment in time we're in Seeing things that Seeing, seeing the book that Christians really follow has been tempered many times and we still want to uh, look at it in a positive way although we should look at it in a positive way but again we should start questioning ourselves why did they change it to this uh, caliber or to this level we should ask ourselves questions ask the problem I, I think the problem is we are I think there's some sort of conditioning that people have been conditioned not to ask questions yeah even even i mean if you ask your questions you're going to be directed into uh, something that you won't be able to even ask that question that you wanted to ask you get it you i mean it's it's so sad but anyway i agree with that part but now going towards the end about uh, when you went to talk about the god okay i understand what he was trying to to say he was trying to pass a message that it's hard to kill many people 1,000 people with that God thing. It's really, really hard. You can't kill a thousand people with that. But was it was he using that God thing, or it was just put there for just um, purpose of of uh, creating faith, or maybe there's a hidden meaning? Because I understand the Bible. There's many translation. You can have your own translation. Maybe there's a meaning towards that. Translation, not so much meaning, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe there's a, a lot of meaning. Maybe there's one major meaning towards that, killing one thousand people without God or whatever thing that that was. I mean, if we okay, take it, if we take it, it literally. When it comes to that one, before it, the Bible was revised, mm -hmm. they used the word pricks. Yeah. Which is some would call vulgar language. Mm -hmm. So he said, why use such language in a holy book? Yeah. Then when they changed it, they used Oxcore. Yeah, so, I mean, Oxcore? it's, yeah, something like that. It's something really, I believe probably there was a, there's a hidden meaning towards that. Because if you think about it literally, like you can't kill 1,000 people with just with that one particular thing. And if you're all alone, I mean, it's going to be so hard. You just try even 10 people you can't you get it you know, unless you have some supernatural powers that can lead you to kill all those people without ox code or whatever the situation is anyway all that aside um i don't agree with him when he starts you know talking about how the bible is uh is misleading okay it's true it's somehow misleading but Let's try and focus on the positive side, you get it? Let's not try to show that uh, the Bible is, is, a, is, is not a good book anymore or it's not, a, it's not a book to be followed or it's not something to be looked into just because it has been changed many times. Let's try and help, 
help ourselves. Let's try and it should try and help us to find a solution again. To find a way. I'd say I'd rather have someone teach me the ways of Islam, the way mm -hmm. in the Quran. Yeah. Forget Christianity, just focus on the Quran and the Quran and everything that comes with it. Yeah. I think it's the, the people who sit there they're asking questions. I think so. Yeah. I was going to say that. It's the people. It's not okay. I don't blame him. I, I blame the people who are sitting because they're asking him questions. So he has the right to answer them, to yeah. make them understand. So again, he's he's doing a good job, no doubt. He's doing a really good job. Anyway, I think we are all learning here. We are in the we are we are in a process of learning and trying to find out the truth. And that's really really amazing. I mean, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway guys, if you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video of Ahmed did that at his best part 5. Such an amazing uh, video, such an amazing lesson to learn. Just let us know in the comment section what do you think and if you have more reaction videos, let us know in the comment section below and we're going to do it for you. And the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we keep subscribing and we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos. And to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, you're gonna see in the next video. And peace out.